guys, Josh here. And today we're gonna to be talking about the JDS Labs Atom, the $100 amplifier that is kind of taking the audio industry by storm. But before we get into that, I wanna thank uh, the group of people that make this channel possible, which are the patrons. Thank you guys very much, specifically Israel for lending this to me uh, to review. And if you wanna become a patron, there's a link in the description down below and you get early access to all of my reviews. And then last thing before we jump into the actual review is I will have a direct comparison between this and the Monoprice Liquid Spark. That's coming soon, so subscribe if you're not already. So let's go ahead and jump into the build of this device. How is it built? Well, overall, a little bit disappointing actually, uh, compared to some of the other offerings at $100, specifically the Magni 3 and the Liquid Spark. Uh, the build does fall a little bit short. Uh, it's plastic. Uh, the feet do slide around a little bit, which was a little bit disappointing to see. I understand that they have to, you know, obviously keep it at a budget price, but I would have liked to see a more competitive build here. Now, other than that, and the giant power brick that it comes with, that's pretty much the end of my complaints. Regarding the inputs and outputs that this thing has, it has a quarter inch headphone output in the front, a volume slash power knob, a high low gain, and an input selection. And on the back, you have your power input, a 3.5 millimeter in, uh, a RCA in and an RCA pre-op. And that 3.5 millimeter is actually something that I actually really appreciate now that a uh, $100 offering has it because you can hook this up to two different sources. You know, that, that may not matter to some. Uh, if you're coming from a specific DAC and you only have one DAC, that's not a big deal, but maybe you plug this into a phone or you know, another source or something like that. So that could be a, a huge benefit to certain people. Now for the power output of this device, it does only put out about one watt at 32 ohms and about 0.5 watts at 150 ohms. So in this price range, uh, the Magni will put out about three watts. The listed website for the Spark says 1.3 watts at 32 ohms, uh, but the independent um, measurements that I've read say about 2.4. So the Spark is definitely a little bit more powerful. We'll talk more about that stuff in the actual comparison video. Now the sound portion, which normally makes up the biggest part of the review, is actually the thing I have the least to say about. Um, this is one of the best measuring amps at $100, if not the best measuring amp at $100. And it sounds exactly how you would expect. Tonally accurate, um, exceptionally well detailed, very well controlled. There's not really much else to say. It doesn't have any strange characteristics. It doesn't tilt one way or the other. It's pretty much as neutral as, as I can imagine things getting. Um, there's a couple other amplifiers that have like maybe specific attributes like, you know, tubes obviously change the sound for, for better or worse, depending on who you ask. Um, I've had a couple of amplifiers in here that are perhaps a little bit faster in speed, um, but at a much higher price. So for a hundred bucks, this is just about as good as you can get uh, in terms of cleanliness and sound quality. Now, a couple things that I found just in general day-to-day -day use of this thing. If you go past three o'clock on high gain, you do hear a little bit of hissing, which was a little bit surprising given how clean this amplifier is. Um, not that big of a deal. Obviously you can't hear it when you're playing music. And to be honest with the source that I had plugged into this, I, I was never really past like one to two o'clock on most headphones anyways. So that wasn't a huge issue, but it was something that I did notice. And speaking of uh, on high gain, the actual gain adjustment is like pretty harsh. Like sometimes it'll be kind of low volume on low gain. I mean, obviously it's low gain and high gain, but it seems a, a little bit more steep than most other ones I've heard. So I guess this leads me into the conclusion. This is probably gonna be a really short review. There's nothing really else for me to say except compliments about the technological achievement, um, but I think we've all heard it and we all know already. And I, I mean this in the best way possible. There's not really much else to say. It's great. It gets my full recommendation. I wish it was built better, but I would have absolutely no problem recommending this device to anybody. And I guess the only question now is like of the three main $100 amplifiers, the Magni, the Liquid Spark, and the Atom, which one would you want to buy? Um, and for that, of course, I got to string it into the next <laughs> comparison video. So, uh, Stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks again, Israel, and you kick-ass patrons. You guys rock. Help uh, keep this channel possible. And until the next video, my name is Josh, signing off.